Hurricane Delta slamming ashore in Louisiana overnight as a Category 2 storm, but weakening as it moves over land. Delta lashing the Gulf Coast with 100 mile per hour winds that ripped off roofs and toppled trees. The dangerous storm surge over nine feet in some places. And this is the record 10th named storm to hit the U.S. this hurricane season. We have team coverage on the ground in hard hit Louisiana, where more than half a million people are now waking up without power. Rob is in Lake Charles with more on where Delta is headed. But first, let's go to Ginger and Lafayette with more. Ginger, good morning. Well, Whit, good morning to you. We've officially done it. Five landfalling hurricanes of those 10 landfalling storms. That is a feat we have not made since 2005 in that epic season. And if you look behind me, these are the streets of Lafayette, just covered in tree debris. Uh, the power only on on this street, but almost everyone out of power. And it is so much worse just to our west. That same area that feels like Delta was just the punch while they were already knocked out by Laura 44 days ago. That is the sound of Hurricane Delta, just before making landfall in Creole, Louisiana. A Category 2 hurricane when it roared on shore, peeling roofs off of buildings, waves and surge lapping at the land in Lake Arthur, up to 17 inches of torrential wind-whipped rain. Those winds gusting to 100 miles per hour, the destructive force lashing buildings, snapping utility poles leaving hundreds of thousands without power across Louisiana and Texas. The fierce winds tossing this mobile home right onto the road and knocking this tractor trailer onto its side. Delta's broad push of water forcing storm surge up to nine feet near freshwater canal locks. The storm flooding low-lying neighborhoods in Welsh. What's left of Delta now rocketing inland with rain and gusting winds in Arkansas and Mississippi. Louisiana's governor warning folks, though, not to let their guard down. Treat every power line that's down as if it's live. But don't go out sightseeing. This time-lapse video from Lake Charles showing just how quickly conditions worsen. Just before landfall, the relative cooler water near the coast and wind shear shredding the storm. Believe it or not, this is the eye of what's left of Delta. I mean, we still have a hurricane, and this is not what a hurricane or a tropical storm eye looks like. I've been in many of them where the winds are calm, everything goes clear, and at night you can even see the stars. That is not happening tonight because this storm got sheared and ripped apart, and it is the epitome of what we call a dirty eye. And just to my west in Lake Charles, Rob Marciano right there in that town already hit so hard just six weeks ago in Hurricane Laura. Just incredible. Lake Charles, Louisiana getting hit with yet another hurricane. Those utility vehicles you see back there, they've been here for weeks trying to put this town back together from the last hurricane. And now they're getting slammed again. It's so hard to see all that. And here's something else that's difficult to see, a map that nobody wanted. This is the official all of the landfalls on a map of who got hit where. And if we zoom in, you can see right next to that Cat 4 Laura, Delta's path, just 12 miles away. Eva, I do not want to come back to the Gulf Coast again, but unfortunately, we still have hurricane season until November 30th. And that's a good reminder, Ginger. It is not over yet. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.